Hello everyone, this is Stevio, and we are back being filthy rich. If you don't remember, we built this whole farm from scratch, and uh, today we have an exciting day. We're not just going to be spreading some uh, fertilizer here. We are going to hopefully buy a whole dealership, make a uh, dealership extremely happy. It's got to be every farmer's dream to go to a dealership and just uh, pick out whatever they want. At least it's mine. So I am farming my dream. Made a ton of money on crypto and uh, investing. And now I get to uh, do my dream. It is obviously being a farmer. I don't plan on buying just uh, starting out uh, small either plan on starting out huge uh, yeah I'll probably get way over my head pretty quickly but uh, hey we'll all learn together and uh, at least I have some money for mistakes we are spreading some corn on corn ground here plan on planting this ground back into corn so we have to uh, spread it with uh, pretty heavy fertilizer because the corn takes nitrogen out of the ground gotta put it all back in okay got this little piece of ground done yeah I'm spreading this fertilizer in and I don't even have tillage equipment yet yep little scary little stressed out now because uh I got a lot of ground to do and I don't have a single piece of equipment. The bad thing about uh, once if you're going to purchase equipment, it's not like you can just like, hey, I need that tomorrow or whatever, usually. Uh, sometimes it takes some um, months to get a piece of equipment you want to you. So uh, hopefully with the amount of money I'm spending, I'm hoping that they will jump through hoops and get me everything that I need right away. That's our other sprayer right there. This is our uh, our planter. Does anybody else have the problems with this planter doing the electric slide? Sliding across the map or whatever like it's on a magnet or something? Or is that just me? Yeah. Uh, that's farm sim problems for you. Let's plant. It's almost uh, got that tractor all the way canted sideways can I make that turn oh oh no nope. no nope. gotta park this back into the shed here, here we go definitely a nice start out planner huh probably should have got a center fill but it'll do it'll do Oh yeah, you guys pr don't know. Bought me a great looking service truck. At least in my opinion, the best looking forward ever made. Uh, got me a huge uh, welder slash uh, generator on there. Got an air compressor. It's got a uh, crane on the back. Got all the storage you need. And uh, I plan on taking this to the dealer and hopefully they won't think I'm a complete dumbo if I show up like this show up in a nice old service truck into it's a great sounding Ford engine at least in my opinion so we need to go to a whole nother county so we can get a dealership that uh, can fit our needs and desires so let's see what deals we can make let's go to the candy store and Pick us out some beautiful pieces of equipment. We are almost here. We're driving through beautiful countryside. I think I'm... I think it's at the end of this road. Man, seems like we've been driving forever here. Love these rolling hills in this countryside. Maybe I should have bought land over here. Oh well. Yeah. At least I'd be close to the dealership. Alright, it looks like we are coming up on a dealer. Ooh, wow. Both sides of the highway here. Okay, yep. This is it. 
I believe so. If not, I'm going to stop here anyways. Because, wow. Hopefully they got newer harvesters than them right there. Yeah. Good harvesters, but I'm going to want something a little bit newer. Alright, let's look. Ooh, wow. Kind of like that little uh, 10... 1025R in there. That wouldn't be bad for a little chore tractor. A little zero turn lawnmower. Uh, standing lawnmower here. Wow. I do like this little mower here. That is a nice little setup there. Ooh, we got another one here. A little loader tractor. Yeah, these can be little wheelbarrows. That's like the that's like the right type of real borrow for your uh, yard there. At least in my opinion. A uh, little gator here with a sprayer. Ooh, I would love this service truck here. Yeah, I wouldn't mind that. Look at all that. Got all them hose reels and a crane and a welder and a generator. Yeah, it's a little bit... Uh, that thing, that welder and generator is a little bit more compact than uh, ours over here. Yeah, ours is kind of a, mm, a wind block. A sail, maybe? Ooh, look at this little, uh, what is this, uh, six, 6,000 series here, 6410, yep, with a loader on there. Uh, looks like it's set up, might be set up for a rancher around there. Hmm, like it, like it. Would prefer a power shift, but, uh, hmm. I'm going to try to snoop around as much as I can before the dealer really recognizes me because uh, they'd probably be able to uh, josh me a little bit. So uh, let me just uh, look at everything before they start, uh, you know, oh, let me talk to my manager. Hey, can I help you? What the heck is that weird tractor over there? Got European symbols on it. Uh, 4840 here. I would love to have it. Man, if you have the money in the world, whew, what would you buy? I mean, would you buy all new or would you buy nostalgic? That is a question. A Moco. Oh, looky here. We got a uh, 8320R. It looks like uh, well, maybe a 2018 style model. Wouldn't, it would be a nice planting tractor. Hmm. Hmm. Tough tough decisions we got going on here I've never seen one of these but that would be one heck of a dirt moving operation here definitely can't use that uh farming but uh, at least it'd be this would be the fun stuff moving dirt and everything at a couple 95s here 9520 with good years on it got some wear and tear on this baby Hmm, I was hoping to get something a little newer, I have to say. Don't know. And a 9570R here. I would ho hope to get something a little bit newer than this, but we might have to settle. I hate to settle for something. I want to go new. It's got a nice loader on it. That would be a nice little chore truck or chore tractor, I guess. The front duels are off wide they don't line up with the back so they probably want to go over 30 inch spacing but let's just be honest I mean other than maybe side dressing really when do you go between your rolls of your crops gone are the days of cultivating let's just say that oh man such a tough options here looks like an RT here uh, 9570 RT. Hmm, another tough option there. So, so many options here I gotta choose from. A 9470 RX. Hmm, that's a big deer there. Uh, is that a row crop? I don't know if this, I guess this would be considered row crop deer. An RX. 9520. I uh, do like the way this thing stands. Intimidating there. Awful intimidating. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Oh man. You can 
really hear that thing roar. Man, got so much money, but I don't know if I want that. I don't know what I want, to be honest. Oh my goodness, I'm just gonna be so many hard choices. Look at this road track. Holy cow, look at all the options, how this thing lights up. Hmm, must have been a trade-in. Must have been like a brand new trade-in or something. Whew. Loving this cabin here. Definitely to be a great planting tractor here. They got a big bud too. I would love to have a big bud. Oh man. Too bad they look like they have the cab open. I'd love to go in there. That would be... Whew. What would you buy if you had the mo all the money in the world? That's just the options. I mean, you don't want to... You can't buy everything. I don't have enough money to buy everything, but I could probably easily purchase this whole entire lot if I wanted to. Man, I, I can't I can't spend all my money because then if I, uh, you know, a couple bad years would put me in the negative, and I can't have that. I did see a few planters over here, so it looks like we have a 12-row folding planter here. Three point hitch style. Hmm. That would be nice. Uh, we got an air drill here. Hmm, that's a nice planter. Hmm, a 2150 case. Where are they getting all these new cases on the John Deere lot, though? What to do, what to do. We got a lot of options to do here. No, if I want to do that many uh, fill boxes in a row, that would probably get a little bit annoying. It would be probably get a pretty good deal because everyone wants the center fills now. Look at this ripper here, and that would be nice. Might need that. I know I have some uh, rough ground out there. Ooh, look at this moorboard plow. It's seen its day. It's seen uh, a lot of ground, but whoo. That thing is huge. I know, I know. That's what she said. Nice. Looks like we got a John Deere V Ripper here. It's definitely seen a lot of acres. 255. It must be a 55 foot winged in. It's got the roll roll cages on the back. That would definitely be big enough. We just have to get a big enough tractor for takes a lot of horsepower for 55 another 55 foot chisel who pulls a 55 foot chisel anymore whoo that's a lot of that's a lot of ground movement there gotta say that's a lot of ground movement You'd definitely be doing a lot here's a chisel it might be more into our uh, size range that we would need I need to get a dealer, start making them happy. I don't know if they have everything I possibly need to get started planting. I at least want to get half of my uh, equipment. I was hoping to see some of their new John Deere's on their lot, but I really, they must be hidden away somewhere, maybe in their uh, back, but they said they had a few. Where are they? But thank you all for watching. And I will see you later over here in Richville. Later, y'all. At least made one deal. Actually, uh, I think I made the dealer very happy. Catch y'all next time.